So carrying on from this example, what I now want to do is update my form to have some kind of input, which I can then, instead of just dying out the contact text that we have here, we're actually gonna pick something up with our request object. And we'll take a little look at our request object as well. So let's start by updating our form. We know that within some kind of contact form, we would probably have an input with a type of text, maybe with the person's email address. So let's just roll with this example for now. So I'm gonna go ahead and create a little label up here for email, and I'm just gonna say email like that. We'll just keep this really simple in terms of how it looks. But if we come over to contact and land on this now, we can enter our email address and we can click contact and we know that goes through and posts. The key is though, how do we pick this value up when we do actually submit this through? Well, like I said before, normally you would go ahead and do something like echo dollar underscore post and then in here you would grab the name of that. Now this will actually work, so let's take a look at this working. Let's go back and submit this, and you can see that we do get that value. But it's often a little bit more convenient and a little bit better to use your request object that you get back in here. So let's again uh, just dip behind the scenes and go over to vendor slim, and what we now want to look at is HTTP, and over here we have our request object and this is what's injected in when we go ahead and use that so let's look for something like get and you can see here that we have lots of different methods that we can use all of which are useful what we're interested in though is get param so what we can now do because this object is injected into here when we define out a root we can do something like request get param and then the name of the parameter we're trying to pick up. Now, to me, this reads a lot better than using the uh, post super global array on its own. So this is often a lot better. And we also have things like get params to get all parameters. And we'll take a look at that in a minute. We're also gonna look at the query string as well soon. So now using this value, we could maybe send an email or whatever, but it's just gonna work in exactly the same way. So let's pop an email address in, click contact, and we see that value in there. So in the case of getting all parameters, maybe you prefer to say something like params in here, and you maybe want to set that to request get params. Maybe you had lots of things on your form. Let's do a var dump on params and see what we get instead. So I'm gonna go back to the contact page. I'm gonna fill out my email address in here, click contact, and you can see now we have an array with all of the data that's been posted through. So that might be an option. And then you could say params and you could pick up the email in that way as well. Now, what happens when we have things like query string parameters? So now that we've seen a kind of example of this, we're gonna look at a full example of this in the next part, but let's go and look at something a little bit different. So let's come over, create a route for our home page, or maybe even a user's page and go ahead and define out our closure in here. Always remembering to pull in our request and pull in our response. And what we now want to do is look at what happens if we have something like pagination. So normally within an application, if you were listing through users, you would have page equals one, that would show all users on page one, you would have page two, exactly the same thing. Well, we need to pick this up somehow to maybe create some kind of query to pull out the correct results. Well, in this case, we can just do exactly the same thing. It will work in the same way. Using request, we can say get param and we can say, page and that will give us the page that we're on and the reason that this is so convenient is everything within get and post is merged together so we can just simply use the same method and we have a single clean method to pull out data wherever it's coming from so that is pretty much it there's nothing necessarily wrong with going ahead and using get if you want to but since you have that request object in there and it follows a particular standard, you can go ahead and use get param, you can use get params, or any of the other methods you find in here. So there's that get params one, but you can go ahead and look through this and find anything else uh, out in here that you may want to use. You may want to use this now or into the future, but either way, that is how we pick things up very, very simply within our request.